are we excited? Yes. <laughs> I can't even get my camera right, y'all. Guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Shamir Nicole, and today is day one of our 30 day challenge. If you guys are new here, I've done this challenge sometime last year, and I wanted to start off the new year doing the challenge with you guys. So, my goal is to upload one video every day for 30 days, sharing with you what I'm doing on this 30 day challenge my day-to-day -day progress, my ups, my downs, my good, my bad, all of the above so that you guys can see how we're going to end our 30 days. This is our jump start to the new year. And of course we always say new me, new year, all of that, but we are actually going to be implementing that saying this year. New me, new you, new everybody, A, B, C, D, devil, devil, do. <laughs> I clearly had my coffee so um before we actually start day one I am actually I just got dressed I am going to be doing my 30 days of walking this challenge essentially consists of us trying to jumpstart our year we are focusing on our mental health we are focusing on our physical health we are focusing on being more consistent whether it's in school whether it's in business whether it's in our um, again our health we're going to be focusing on creating new habits. One of the goals is to be able to create new healthy habits for us. And by doing these 30 day challenges, it helps to create new habits and also to make sure that the habits stick. We don't want to do it for five days and then we fall off. We don't want to do it for two days and it falls off. By being consistent each and every day, it helps us to be able to maintain those habits and build upon those habits. So that is what we're going to be doing. So before we start day one, I do want to share with you some of the things that I'm going to be implementing and hopefully that you'll be able to utilize if you decide that you want to do a challenge similar to this or take bits and pieces from this challenge and create your own. So again, one of the things that I like to do is I like to start off by figuring out what my why is. Why am I doing this challenge? For me, again, this is to help me remain consistent, not only with my health, but just with other aspects of my life by creating a daily habit. And it also helps me to focus on what my goals are. So for me, my goal is to always remain consistent in a few areas of my life. So um, this is one of those things where doing something each and every day helps me with my consistency, which I definitely always need help with because I have so much going on. And it's really easy for me to say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow never comes. So for me, this is to remain consistent. Also for me, this is also for me to make sure that I stay on top of my daily journaling and my daily prayer writing. So I have some books that I've created for myself. I do um, offer them online, but I do have some journals that I created for myself that I like to write in each and every day. And a part of that challenge is to be consistent with that as well. Let me show you one of those books while we're here. Okay, so I have quite a few of them. Um, I do. I wrote a book a few years ago, and it's called Girl Yes, and it teaches women to be bold, ambitious, and beautiful. And I created a journal that goes along with that. So this is my Girl Yes journal, and then I also have a few prayer journals. These are more spiritually based journals, but it just helps me to be able to pray and plan out my day and jumpstart my day the right way in the right mental headspace. So I have a one minute of gratitude journal and this just helps you to practice gratitude. Um, you can say what you're thankful for each and every day. So I have these and then I also have my prayer journal. 
and this is where I put my prayers, daily Bible verses, things of that sort. So I personally have a few journals that I like to go in between. But if you have a notebook, I am a fan of notebooks. You can write them down in your notebooks. You can go to the dollar store and get a regular, you know, notepad and you can write them down as well. But again, I do have ones that I've created for myself that are now available online. I have them on Amazon and you can, you know, utilize one of these as well. But I definitely wanted to make sure that I stay consistent with my daily journaling as well as my fitness. But I also do have a weight loss goal that I want to achieve. And this, again, is a segue into that because when you are consistent with your daily goals and you are aligning your daily tasks with the goal that you have at hand, you're always going to get to that goal. So this is what this 30 days is for for me. Um, I definitely, again, want to implement my daily writing into that and my prayer into that as well because it just has me in the best headspace. And for mental health, you definitely want to express gratitude. You want to do your affirmations. You want to pray. You want to meditate. Um, whatever you decide that you want to do, it is definitely needed. So that is what we're going to be doing for day one. We are getting all of our things together. But there are a few things that you have to do on day one to make sure that you are ready to go. So I did a previous video and I showed you guys a little bit of my grocery store haul. I show you some of the things that I picked up and I do share um, a recipe in that video that helps to kind of detox your body. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll link that below as well. And then I also have a video just getting you guys a overview of what this challenge is going to consist of. I did do this before for 30 days. So I'll also link that video below as well if you guys want to see my results from my previous 30 days and let you know what you're going to be expecting when you complete this 30 day challenge so I'll have all of those videos linked below but what we're going to do right now is two things now you have an option right so typically when you're starting any type of weight loss or you're doing a 30 day goal or anything of the sort you want to know where you started so that when you finish you can see the difference so you have two options you can either jump on the scale Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you can jump on the scale and get your before weight and you can write that down again this is where the journals and the notebooks start to come in or you can do one of my personal favorites you can go downstairs and twerk excuse me you can go downstairs and work <laughs> You can take pictures. Um, I actually prefer to take pictures maybe in my favorite outfit. Um, I'm going to be taking pictures today in this gym outfit. It's actually one of my favorites. I got it from the mall. Um, you can take pictures in one of your favorite outfits. Um, you can take front pictures, side pictures, back pictures. Have them in your phone and that can just keep you motivated and consistent, you know? So I personally am going to be doing both today. I'm going to jump on the scale to get my starting weight and I'm actually going to be taking pictures. So we're going to go downstairs, take our before pictures, take our starting weight, and then I am going to be starting my 30 minutes of walking. Remember, this is a walking challenge. I don't want this to be too strenuous for you guys. It needs to be something that you can do each and every day, whether that is walking, whether that is biking, whether that is a, you know, a low impact cardio workout, whether that's weights, the goal is to do something each and every day for 30 minutes. Remember, consistency is going to win. So it has to be every single day. It has to be 30 minutes and it has to get your body moving. So for me, it is going to be walking. It's something that everybody can do. Um, unless you know, you have some type of disability, but typically everybody is made to walk. So we're going to be doing a walking challenge. So let's go downstairs, take our before and after pictures, and then we're going to start day one of our 30 day challenge. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. 
sometimes you just really need that reality check. That was mine, so it's time to get moving. you guys so we are starting our walk um, it's actually pretty nice out here I thought it was going to be colder that's why I have this jacket on but it is now 1154 and we're going to go walk for 30 minutes that's essentially like uh, like walking two blocks in my little area that equates to like 30 minutes so I know how far I have to walk because I did this challenge before so I know exactly how far I need to walk in order for me to get to that 30 minutes and within the 30 minutes depending on my pace which is the pace I'm walking now I can get in about two miles of walking like a nice brisk walk to get my heart rate up and my dog typically will use the bathroom twice, <laughs> TMI, but she would use the bathroom twice. So that's essentially how I know we've been walking for about a good 30 minutes. So I have my little, my little, um, flags to let me know that we're on track. So we're going to keep on walking and that's how we're going to finish day one. And then I'm going to get ready to start my dinner because I didn't take the fish out and it's frozen <laughs> so I need to prepare my lunch and dinner for the next few days so we're gonna do that when I come back home get out that grass girl yeah let me watch this dog y'all she be all the people on challenge i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you've had any questions or you are not sure what's going on or what i'm doing i will clarify in the comment section also don't forget to follow me on instagram at shimmer nicole and i will see you guys here on this channel tomorrow for day two of our 30 day challenge see you tomorrow are we ick? are we excited yes <laughs> Yes. There we go. I know I know you're excited. It's okay. I'm excited. It might be the coffee, but I'm excited. <laughs>